And uh, let's get started. So the first thing when I get a topic like this is in my mind, um, there's two very different challenges here. And it's very important to know where you are to decide how you're going to move forward. So you got to really take a look at where you are in the surviving and growing spectrum of things. One of the things that's possible is that you might be in a situation where sales are down a little bit, you're not doing quite so well, you want to grow, or it might be that the actual uh, future of your business is being threatened and there's, you might be in the survival mode. So one of the things that you first got to ask is, is where am I? Um, am I really in a situation where my business might fail if I don't address these things? Because you have to have different actions you take, you have to address them with a different level of intensity. And the reason that I think you can't just answer the same, this, both questions, surviving and growing the same way, is because in my experience, growing sales is really risky business. Now we all have to grow sales. Um, and we've all had experience in terms of building sales. But it's expensive to grow sales. It takes time. It takes money to grow sales. And so I've seen companies fail because they said, our plan is we're going to grow our sales. And as they're working on that, they slowly went right down off the end of the cliff and never got where they wanted to go. So I feel you really have to know where you are to say, can I really take the time to focus on growing sales? And the key to that uh, is, you know, do you have the time and the money to be able to focus on that? So my first lesson that I want to make sure that I share with everybody is uh, you've got to have a, cash, a weekly cash flow forecast to really know where you are financially. Uh, how, how solid are you? Now, a lot of people uh, may recall I talked about cash flow forecasts when I spoke three years ago. This is something I talked to every one of my clients about. And I have a saying, and that is if you can't make a say called a six week uh, cash flow forecast on your business that's reasonably accurate, I would say you really don't know your business. And it is very difficult to come up with a good forecasting model. It's difficult to make one that actually reflects reality. But going through that process, you'll really know what are the drivers of your business. You'll know what's impacting your sales up and down, what's impacting your costs, what's impacting your collection cycle, all those different things that are so critical to know what your cash flow is going to be. I'll share with you a story. About 20 years ago, I was involved with a group that bought a company out of Chapter 11. And it was a manufacturer of personal care products. And early on, I went in. There was a guy who was running the company. And, uh, and I talked with him and I said, well, look, uh, you know, do you have a weekly cash flow forecast? And he said, oh, I, I, I do better than that, Jay. I, I look at cash every day. I don't, I don't, you know, weekly, no, I don't do that. And I said, no, no, you don't, you don't understand what I'm asking. I'm not asking whether you look at your cash every day. I'm asking, can you project where your cash is going to be next week, two weeks from now, six weeks from now, and have a reasonable idea where that's going to be? It's a very different question, and a lot of business owners that I work with take comfort in the fact, oh, I look at the cash every day, especially with our phones and you know, electronic banking. You can always see where your cash is now. But I want you to consider the fact that's already history. You know, it's already happened. You can't do anything about the fact that, whoops, I'm out of cash today, right? On the other hand, if you see based on the trends that in another three, six, eight, ten weeks, I'm going to be out of cash, well, you now have the ability to act. And that's what business is all about. And when you're in a survival mode, taking the right action is critical because you don't have a whole lot of time to take missteps. It'll kill you if you do. So first of all, make sure you've got a good weekly cash flow forecast and learn from it. The second thing that is going to be sort of an odd piece of advice for people, once you have your weekly cash flow forecast, you know you're in the survival mode. You've got to figure out what you're going to do, is you actually have to stop and figure out when, are you, well, how far are you going to go down this path and when you're going to give up. Most people are surprised when I say that, especially when I said just a little while ago, one of the key attributes of entrepreneurs is that you persevere, you know, you fight, fight, fight. And I'm not in any way saying give up lightly. I'm not saying don't work yourself really hard. I'm not saying don't do everything you can to make your business succeed. But the reality is not every business will succeed. And the most important asset that you need to preserve is you. Think about it. I've worked with a lot of companies, with a lot of business owners. The company's not doing well, usually for reasons that are related to things that they've done in the past. But be that as it may, we all make mistakes. Things happen. But if you try to ride that so long and you're just, oh, yeah, if I could just get that next big sale, 
I know that could save me. I know I could pull it out. And you're riding down till you don't have a penny left. And you go belly up without a nickel to your name. And you are getting, have lawsuits. You got people who are upset with you. You really can destroy yourself. And ultimately, being an entrepreneur is about being able to do it again and again. You're going to try some business activities that are going to fail. I have failed. Robert has failed. We've all failed. If you don't fail, you're not really trying hard enough. You know, you got to be trying new and different things, and it's going to happen, and that's okay. But you want to preserve yourself, and that's the most important thing. So if, you're, if you really are in a survival mode, and you're thinking, uh, you know, things have gotten so bad, I'm not sure we can make it, use that cash flow forecast, figure out your plan, and say, okay, I'm going to give myself so much time to get a certain amount of cash or a certain amount of sales, whatever it is, but write it down and live by it. I'll give you a personal example from this. I had a, uh, a manufacturing company. I built a plant up in Eden, North Carolina. This is more than 10 years ago. And um, we screwed it up horribly. It was a disaster. Um, we had quality problems. I had problems getting people trained. I thought moving this plant was going to be relatively easy, and that was a big mistake. Um, what ended up happening was we had a major quality problem. And we lost our biggest customer. Right after I just built this brand new plant, we had all this capacity. I was so excited what we were going to do. And boom, there goes half my sales overnight. And, uh, and oh my goodness, I mean, that was a real challenge for me. I was the guy who fixed companies. And here it was. I got a company that's headed down the path. Well, what did I do? I laid out my plan. I took a hard look at it and I said, okay, here's what I have to do. I'm going to give myself six months because I had enough cash, enough reserved. I've got to build sales back to this certain level and if I can't do that, it's going to be better for me to go into an orderly liquidation mode and try to get out from this gracefully rather than for me just to fight forever. And I don't want anybody to think that I gave up easily because I didn't. Um, it was a brutal time. But the fact of the matter is, that saved me. Because in the end, I didn't make it. I kept, I was optimistic. And you guys are all optimistic probably too. It's, oh, that next one, I, I, I can feel it. It's right there if I can just get that next one. And that's great, right up until the moment that you go bust. And so you need to realize, OK, I didn't make it by this time. So I went through a process. I was able to sell off different parts of the business. I was able to sell my plant. I actually got out. Didn't cost me a penny. I actually made money on the liquidation. Um, that didn't make it a victory, by the way. It still was a big failure in my mind. But if I had not put in those stops that said, at, some, at this point, I've got to take action, I would have ridden that thing right down into the dirt. And uh, it may have been something that I couldn't have recovered from. In this case, I went on, did my next deal. And so uh, away you go. So we all fail. Things happen. But I think it's very important for you when you're in the fight for your life to recognize it's not your life. It's business. You have to survive. You've got to get up and look at yourself. And the hardest thing for an entrepreneur ever to accept is that situation. You know, this one just might fail. But that doesn't mean you're a failure. That just means this business is a failure. Learn from it, get up the next day, and go start your next one. And you can make it happen. Happens lots of times. I did it. I know you guys can do it as well.